when I look at the exterior views and the site plan and all of the floor plans, the only word I can think of is wow. We've been on a whirlwind since February when we announced the uh, approval and going ahead of the model school and uh, the, re the con conceptual idea is becoming a reality and we couldn't be happy. Very exciting, unbelievable plans uh, to see this beautiful building that's really up to date with the times. In fact, the architect that has been chosen is so creative. We're going to get the best product, I think, that's around throughout the state. It's unbelievable. It should be very exciting. My first look at the exterior, and it's exciting. It's really gorgeous to be able to blend the, the old architecture that they were so sensitive to the uh, history of the area, and uh, it just excites me. And uh, the, the, it's uh, the entrance area is gorgeous. Hopefully, they'll move that to the other entrance area for the um, for the public, for the uh, theater and uh, gymnasium. But it's. Uh, it's just an exciting, exciting bill. Wins is the big community use that we'll be able to do. The partnership and the intergenerational connections with the senior center um, just has such great possibilities. And to really have a facility that is going to be used by students academically, not just for the four years that they're going to be there, but in, well into their adulthood, um, is a very exciting opportunity and win for students and the town. It just flows and everything just flows nicely with the senior center. It's just really something to be excited about. I think it would another be a hallmark within our town. The overall floor plan is is very good, well thought out. They they've situated things in, in very very favorable places. It's great that the library's pulled out, you know, and and separate like that. The um, auditorium is going to be fantastic, 850 seats, very similar to the one in Duxbury, and uh, the walking track above the gymnasium is also going to be wonderful, wonderful for senior citizens as well as the the uh, high school track teams. Certainly we've tried to have vision with regards to the vocational and technical areas, the fine arts areas, and our special education areas. Um, our classrooms are designed not, not just to meet the needs for today, but also the needs for tomorrow. I am um, most pleased about the uh, flexibility in the vocational areas for future programs so that we can help. Uh, employ our students both locally in the state, in the nation, and in the world. I was so happy that they took the historical aspect of the town of Plymouth into consideration with it. The um, uh, my experience is that architects usually don't; they come up with a design. And uh, taking the even to go to Boston to the State House, which is a wonderful building, and to be able to incorporate the ideas from that with the Nathaniel Morton to come up with a design that I think is unique and wonderful for us. We frequently see that um, the process of gathering input um, creates a better and better site plan that becomes uh, more flexible and more functional for everybody, but that's where, um, that's our start.